The Inflation Reduction Act has a lot going on under the hood. There's a lot of money that's gonna be pumped into infrastructure. You think of charging, you think of wind, you think of solar, electric vehicles. How can you, as an investor, benefit? In this video today, I'm gonna break down this legislation. I'm gonna show you what's in it. Then I'm gonna provide five stock picks and maybe some bonus picks that could benefit if this legislation gets passed. Now, these are quality stocks that have a lot going for them, even without this legislation, but the legislation could be a huge catalyst. I'm excited to bring this video to you guys. There's going to be some picks in here that I've never talked about on the channel before. Let's get into it. Now on Sunday, Democrats passed the Inflation Reduction Act. Now this is focused on climate change and healthcare. If passed, if passed, it's not passed yet. The legislation would include the most significant legislation ever crafted to address climate change. So it's now on its way to the House of Representatives. So here are four quick takeaways just to get you up to speed of what's going on. Okay, this is the single largest investment in reducing emissions in U.S. history. $369 billion in energy security and climate investments includes 4,000 in tax credits for purchasing new electric vehicles with a $7,500 tax credit for buying a used one. Something to note, funds cannot be used on vehicles that have batteries made from minerals processed in China. The bill aims to bring down harmful emissions by 40%. One of the bill's goals is to bring more renewable energy to low-income communities. And the fourth bullet here is basically saying it's not good for everybody. The package requires the Department of Interior lease 2 million acres in federal lands onshore and 60 million offshore every year for the next decade for oil and gas development. Once these quotas are met, the federal government can lease land for wind and solar renewable energy. The bill also calls for boosting tax and Incentives for carbon capture by 70%, which has been criticized by climate advocates as pricey and ineffective. The world telling everybody 15% was a great idea. No. Nobody followed us. We did it to ourselves. We hurt ourselves. It's a self-inflicted wound. Bad policy. This would provide customers with tax incentives for installing equipment that makes their homes more efficient. This is important. Think of rooftop solar, think of heat pumps, more efficient heating and cooling systems, so newer models. Now this is gonna promote not only clean energy manufacturing for existing companies, but it's also gonna incentivize new companies, startups, to come into the market to take advantage of these tax credits. The first stock on the list, Tesla. Now you're gonna say, wait a minute, I saw legislation, $55,000 is the max for the tax credits. 55,000 is the max for EV. That is true. What I think Tesla will do is I think they're gonna sell a stripped down model that's gonna allow them to get under that price point to take advantage of those tax credits. You know that Elon Musk is already looking at that right now, I can assure you of that. And when you think of Tesla, it's not just electric vehicles. So many people just think of them as electric vehicles and they say, oh, it's just a car manufacturer. It's much more than that. It's an artificial intelligence company. They're trying to make robots, right? But more than that, when you think about this legislation, energy storage is gonna be big. You think of solar, you think of energy storage, solar, you think of charging stations, more on that here in a second, but look at energy store, storage deployments. So these decreased 11% year over year. Now that's mainly due to semiconductor challenges. I think it's gonna ramp up and I think this bill could help stimulate some of that. You also have to look at solar. Solar increased by 25% year over year in this last quarter. Our solar installation team continues to improve installation efficiency, enabling higher volumes and stronger economics. You can see solar deployments are ramping up here. Another key part here, guys, is the supercharger business. Check this out. To help accelerate the transition to sustainable energy even faster, we're excited to open up our global fast-growing network to other EV customers. So White House, Tesla to expand its US supercharger network to other EVs in late 2022. And people are gonna say, wait a minute, what about ChargePoint? But I'd rather own Tesla. It's basically a clean energy conglomerate that has EVs, that has energy storage, that has solar, it has superchargers. So check this out. The US government said in April it needs to increase its own network. They have 1,100 charging stations. They want to increase it by 100 fold to meet demand. And Tesla's ramping up trying to help meet that demand. Later this year, Tesla will begin production of new supercharger equipment that will enable non-Tesla EV drivers in North America to use superchargers. This is huge. Now the second stock on the list, this one's popular within the Fired Up Wealth community. And if you want me to do a deep dive, drop me a comment below and let me know. But this company is called STEM. Now STEM operates smart battery storage solutions that help maximize renewable energy. They've got something called Athena software that uses advanced artificial intelligence and machine learning to seamlessly switch between on-site generation, grid power, and battery storage. It helps reduce energy costs, stabilize the grid, improve renewable energy, and reduce carbon emissions. Forecasters estimate battery storage capacity will increase 35 times between now and 2030. That's a big number. And this bill could help stimulate that. Longer term, $1.2 trillion in revenue opportunity. 
1.2 trillion. Now, STEM doesn't make any batteries. What STEM does is they leverage manufacturers to build an integrated hardware and software solution. So it combines their Athena software with third-party batteries. STEM just reported earnings were pretty solid. And what's funny is in the deck, it actually has Inflation Reduction Act as the third bullet. Looking at some of the highlights here, $67 million record revenue, 246% year over year. They've got backlog of 191% year over year, bookings 402%. These numbers are off the charts. One thing I need to point out though, guys, is the gross margin. You know, 12%, 17%, that's really low. Now, even though they have a software component, like a SaaS component, you have to remember that that's just part of their business. Now, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Now, for the sake of time, I've gone through this pretty quick. Again, if you want me to do a deep dive on STEM, drop me a comment below. If I get enough comments, I'll do so. It says it right in their deck, Inflation Reduction Act. This is a catalyst for STEM. The Inflation Reduction Act, promising step forward in our country's clean energy future. We strongly support its passage. Of course you do because it benefits your company. Look at some of these numbers. Between 20 to 300% projected increase in total addressable market or TAM when you think of energy storage. So we saw Tesla has part of that of their business. These guys are much more focused on the energy storage component. It talks about extension of solar and wind tax credits part of the legislation, tax credits, manufacturing incentives. These guys will benefit in a lot of different areas. I had to dig a little bit to find this. So this could vary a little bit, but it gives you an idea of what's going on under the hood here because you think about the software piece and the hardware piece. So upfront, this is kind of like Axon. When you think of they've got the upfront hardware and then they've got the recurring software. So 60% upfront, 30% recurring and 10% variable. That's kind of the breakdown of what these guys are focused on. But with Athena, they're trying to do more things. When you think of EV charging station, there's, they're trying to branch out quite a bit. This would be a great deep dive topic. Again, if you want a deep dive, drop me a comment below, let me know. Now the third stock you can check out is Plug Power. The ticker's just plug and they see a boom for its green energy hydrogen business. Now the stock's been on fire, so just be careful chasing this one especially. But with the passage of the act, we expect a boom for our electrolyzer and green hydrogen business, said Marsh, according to facts at Transcript. All applications that use gray hydrogen produced from fossil fuels today, such as fertilizer manufacturing, will now be able to buy green hydrogen at a competitive price with gray. You can see the stock has popped significantly off its low. So just be careful with this, guys. But this is one of those stocks that was traded heavily in 2021, went to the moon, came back to the earth, and it's popped significantly. Just be careful chasing it. The fourth stock, Albemarle. Say that five times in a row. Say it five times and see if you can do it. <laughs> so... This one, guys, it's a no-brainer when you think of the pick, it, the pick and shovel type play. When you think of electric vehicles, especially in lithium, you know, I do like a couple ETFs in this space as well, but this one is solid. This was actually a top stock pick from one of our members. I believe Galactus picked this for 2022. You can see it's up 91% year over year, 214%. The, the numbers are just off the charts. So it's, again, it's one of those stocks where you have to be careful, you know, paying a premium on the price, but this one could continue to do really well. Improved outlook for lithium and bromine, okay? So lithium FY 2022 adjusted EBITDA, 500 to 550% year over year. Average realized price up 225 to 250%. There's been a spike in prices, which is helping these guys as well. This is another one, guys. If you want a deep dive on the stock, let me know below. I'd be happy to do it for you. All right, guys, we got one stock left. Plus, I'm going to give you a couple bonus picks at the end, so stay tuned for that. Before we do that, I want to announce this video was sponsored by The Motley Fool. If you'd like to see the 10 best stocks to buy now, visit fool.com forward slash fired up wealth. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel here already, please subscribe, hit that bell to get notifications. If this video is helpful, drop a like and drop a comment. So what's the fifth stock that would benefit from this legislation? I wanted to give you a variety. Next Era Energy, the ticker is NEE. So this is a utility. Market value right now is $173 billion. So it says right here, the stated aim of the bill apart from lowering inflation is to make US energy grid greener. As such, $113 billion, $113 billion is earmarked to encourage the building of renewable electricity plants. And this should benefit companies like NEE. So what about some bonus picks? What, what are some stocks that we could have put on this? list that we didn't include. We mentioned charge point as a potential bonus. The other hot area I think I'd look at would be solar stocks. Now I'm not an expert on solar stocks at all. I know Sunrun is one of the names. There's several out there. You need to go do your own homework on solar stocks. If you want me to do a deep dive, top five solar stocks, drop me a comment below. I want to invite you guys. I've got two other Tesla videos that I recently did. One of them talks about the bear and bull case after earnings. The other talks about the three for one stock split that's coming up here at the end of August. Take a look at the two cards over here. I encourage you to watch both those videos subscribe to the channel take a look around i appreciate your time and attention hope you have a great rest of your day take care